scary to me. Yeah, especially after you think of all the snowfall they yeah. had and then the heat. It's a beautiful, magical place, but boy. It is, yeah, gotta you gotta careful. be careful. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. And today is the <laughs> last day of September. We're heading off to October tomorrow. What happened? I know, it was by fast, so right? Fast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm kind of yeah. excited though, because it's changing, cooler yeah. conditions, fall is in the air. Yeah, uh, fall Halloween. and fog. <laughs> yeah, and fog, there you go. We should call this the fall and fog forecast. Yeah, <laughs> I like right. that. That's a nice bank of uh, the marine layer, just blowing on in. Amy, that's gonna cool us off a little bit more today, and we're gonna see that each morning uh, uh, for several days to come. So get ready for some nice cooler conditions if you've been waiting for it. Uh, temperatures have been uh, in the 50s and 60s. Here's another view of that fog. Normally, I think you'd be able to see Long Beach in there somewhere, but uh, that's not happening just because it's so thick. Wanted to show that to you just so you could see that it is basically in some conditions pretty white out. So you might get some pockets of dense fog, so low visibility. In Camarillo, it is now 57 degrees and they have 83% relative humidity there. And all the gray that you see, we haven't seen this in some time. It's a dense fog advisory. And it's for all of Orange County, except in the high mountains, the Santa Ana Mountains. And then we see that extend down to San Diego. So if perhaps you're about to hop on the five and head on south. You can have some pockets there of low visibility, especially close to Camp Pendleton. This is in place through 10 o'clock this morning. Visibility down to one mile at LAX. Santa Ana has now come back up to one mile for the past hour. It's been below one mile. Uh, downtown Los Angeles, two miles, and we've got some 60s out there this morning. Temperatures you're going to notice starting to come down a little bit today. We won't have all of the mid and upper 90s we had like we had yesterday. The warm air, hot air starts to get squeezed back. A couple of systems up to the north are going to help to cool us down as we go through the week ahead. So gradual cooling today and then by next week, mostly 70s and low 80s, even for the warmer spots. And this will uh, carry us into the end of the week as well. We will manage a couple of low 90s today, especially for the Inland Empire, 91 in Lake Elsinore, Hemet, Riverside, Corona. 91 for all of you. Uh, Fontana about 90 degrees. Uh, Whittier at 85. We've got uh, mostly upper 80s for the San Gabriel Valley. Upper 80s for the high deserts. Anaheim, if you headed over to uh, see Mickey Mouse today, 84 degrees. You've got 74 in Manhattan Beach. Some low 90s for the San Fernando Valley and Westlake Village today back up to 89 degrees. If you are headed to see the Angels this evening, 607, about 77 degrees. The wind's starting to pick up as the Mariners are in town. And the Buffs are in town playing UCLA. 7.30, about 75 degrees, and the wind does pick up later this evening as well, about 8 to 15 miles per hour out of the southwest, that cool wind. Here's my seven-day forecast. As we start off October, we will cool off a little each day through Tuesday. Downtown LA will drop to the low 70s by Tuesday. The valleys go from 92 today to 75 on Tuesday. We'll even notice some upper 70s on Monday, i.e. drops uh, quite a bit from 92 to 77 on Tuesday, and the high deserts will go from 89 today to 80 and then 70. Seven mountains stay with those 70s and a couple of 60s coming up. That's a look at the forecast. Now, here's a look at sports.